Hi everyone, this is Ashley and today we're going to be learning about point of view. So the definition of point of view is, point of view refers to who is telling or narrating a story. These are the three different types of point of views. First person, which usually includes I or we. Second person, which includes you. Or third person, which is he, she, it, or they. So first person includes these key words, I, we, me, us, my, mine, or ours. The reader only gets to read about one person's point of view in first person point of view. So here's an example. Hi, let me tell you about the time I went to the store. This person right here is the only point of view we get to see. For example, we don't get to see the cashier's point of view or any other customer's point of view at the store. This is second person point of view. The keywords to look for are you, your, or your. And just as a reminder, this your is you are. So for second point of view, second person point of view, you are the character. So this is where the narrator tells the story to another character using the word you. So the audience, us as the reader, could be the character, or another character in the story could be the character. So this could be kind of like a visualization type thing where the author is like, you are going down a path, and then you have to decide if you're going to turn left or right, that kind of a story. For third person, it's a little bit different, but here are the key words first. He, she, it, they, him, her, them, his, her, hers, it's, their, and theirs. So as you can see, there are three different types of third person point of view. First, we have objective. The facts of a narrator are reported by a seemingly neutral, impersonal observer or recorder. And right here, just a little definition is, the narrator knows no character's thoughts, so they don't know anyone's thoughts in the story. So he looks sad. We don't know why. He seemed nervous. Again, we don't know why. He said he didn't want to tell his mom that he broke the window. Why did he break the window? Why doesn't he want to tell his mom? We don't know, and neither does the narrator. For third person limited, a narrator reports the facts and interprets the events from the perspective of a single character. That means just one character. So the narrator knows one character's thoughts. And this can also be called third person subjective. So he was sad. He felt nervous. He didn't want to tell his mom that he broke the window. But when he finally told her, she seemed calm. Here's where it's different here. Um, so we know that he was sad. He didn't just look sad. But the mom still seemed calm. We don't actually know if she is calm. But we know that the character felt this and was this. Then we have third person omniscient. An all-knowing narrator not only reports the facts, but may also interpret events and relate the thoughts and feelings of any character. So he was sad, he felt nervous, he didn't want to tell his mom. We know all those are true. But then look here, when he finally told her, she was calm. So we know both of the characters' thoughts. We know she, for sure that she was calm because the narrator told us this. So the narrator knows all of the characters' thoughts. And now time for some flow cab. Every story has a narrator, and every narrator has a different point of view. Which point of view is yours? Let's go! Everybody wants to know my point of view. First person is me, second person is you. Third person is he, third person is she. Everybody wants to know my POV. Everybody wants to know my point of view. First person is me, second person is you. Third person is he, third person is she. Everybody wants to know my POV. Hey yo, knock knock, who is there? Narrator, narrator, who? Narrator, who gonna tell the story from a point of view? Every story's written in a certain voice. When you're writing, you need to make a choice. First, second, or third person, POV. The first person is all about me or we, like we climbed the tree. I closed my eyes and I felt the breeze. I might be unreliable if I don't tell the truth. Now let's switch the point of view to you. 
in the second person you're in a taxi you're wondering how you got there exactly the third person is he or she he walked down the street and he saw the queen she was just hip like it wasn't a thing that's the third person take it from him third person narration could be objective omniscient or from a limited perspective can the narrator see in everyone's thoughts narrating omnisciently like a boss everybody wants to know my point of view first person is me second person is you third person is he third person is she everybody wants to know my pov everybody wants to know my point of view first person is me second person is you third person is he third person is she everybody wants to know my pov all right now check your notes Tell me which POV is in each quote. I was born with water on the brain. That's first person. He looked up into Father Wolf's face and laughed. That's third person. We didn't always live on Mango Street. That's first person. Sophie closed her eyes and lay quite still. That's third person. Your feet are now stuck in green slime. That's Second person In the hole in the ground there lived a hobbit That's Third person It made me so sick I almost fell out of the tree That's First person You're thinking this wasn't the way it was supposed to go That's Second person My name is Katniss Everdeen I'm 17 years old That's First person Everybody wants to know my point of view First person is me, second person is you Third person is he, third person is she Everybody wants to know my POV Everybody wants to know my point of view First person is me, second person is you Third person is he, third person is she Everybody wants to know my POV Alright, if you ever have any issues with um, anything related to school, especially with ELA, I definitely suggest uh, checking out Flocabulary. They have a lot of great videos that can help you learn. Okay, so why is point of view important anyway? The narrator's point of view determines what and how much you learn about the story's characters, events, and places. It's important to evaluate the credibility and knowledge of the narrator. This is especially important in the real world too. Everybody has probably heard of fake news, so news that is untrue. It is everywhere, and you should definitely ask yourself about the narrator when reading news as well, especially during this time when there's rumors and false knowledge being spread. So ask yourself, how much does this narrator know and understand? How much does this narrator want me to know? Are they hiding anything from me? How would this story be different if someone else were telling it? And can I trust this narrator? all very important questions to ask yourself, both when you're reading for your ELA classes and for the outside world as well. All right, so that's it. Hopefully you learned something about point of view. Have a good day.